Here is another viewer-inspired video. The individual wanted to know if they could drill holes through the wall framing studs and uh, how big these holes could actually be. So let's go ahead and start with a load-bearing wall. And I believe in the code book it says load-bearing exterior walls, but we are just going to refer to these as uh, load-bearing walls. So if you have a plumbing pipe and you are going to go through a 2x4 or 2x6 wall, whatever your wall framing studs sizes are, and you have a hole that is going to be larger than 40% of the diameter of the wall framing stud. You'll get more information on that in a bit. You will need to double them up. And uh, you cannot go through two more than two consecutive wall framing studs as you see here. So this might not be approved by your local building department on a load bearing wall, but uh, according to the building code books, wouldn't be a problem for a non load bearing wall. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wall studs and uh, give you an idea what I'm talking about when I say 40% of the wall stud width, let's say. 40% um, on a 2x4 is 1.4 inches, a little over 1 and 3 eighths, a little under 1 and a half inches. Maximum is going to be 60% of the wall stud thickness. You cannot drill more than 60% of the wall framing th um, studs thickness. And um, on a 2x4 that's going to be 2.1 inches. So going to be difficult to put a two inch plumbing pipe. It's not going to happen. One and a half inches is going to be the max um, for a two by four um, running it through the wall studs. Now if you go to a two by six, you can have a 2.2 inch minimum, uh, two and a quarter basically, and then 3.3 is the maximum. This is 40% of the thickness this is 60% of the thickness. So anything over 40% needs to have the double wall framing stud. You're going to need to double them up. And I am not referring to the king studs in a window assembly for the window framing. And this is actually what inspired this video was someone asked a question about that. And I thought they were a homeowner and uh, looking for some advice and uh, they sound like they kind of got upset and I'm gonna have to answer them and I'm gonna make a video I will put a link here or at the end of the video when it is made that video and of course it is going to be going on this channel not one of my other channels for those of you who don't know that I have other channels um, go to the website and I believe it's in the on the home page and you should see a link um, at the bottom right corner there somewhere to those channels. I think I only have about two or three of them. Um, the maximum depth you can notch the um, these studs is going to be 25 percent, um, 7 eighths of an inch on a 2 by 4, an inch and 3 eighths on a 2 by 6. Another thing that the building codes are suggesting uh, will be to avoid drilling any types of holes in uh, behind the area behind the notch. So that'd basically be this area here. You could drill a hole up here or down here. Just can't drill it in the area behind the notch. Another thing they are suggesting is a 5 eighths of an inch minimum distance between the edge of the wall framing stud and the hole. So that would be on both sides. And I did figure it out. If you drill a, I believe it's 2.1 inch hole, the maximum hole for a 2x4. I didn't do it on a 2x6. But if you have a 2x4, you're getting pretty close to 5 eighths of an inch. So you'd better make sure you drill that hole dead center of that 2x4 if you are going to drill the maximum 60% um, diameter hole in a 2x4. Now let's take a look at non-load bearing walls. 60% maximum diameter and the wall framing studs do not need to be doubled. And the notches can be a little larger. 
40% of the wall framing um, stud thickness. So two by four looks like we got one and three eighths, a two by six about two and a quarter inches, a little under two and a quarter inches. So you can do something like this on a non-load bearing wall. It does not say anything about uh, where you cannot go through consecutive wall framing studs. So something like this it seems like it would be acceptable. You could drill through five wall framing studs on a non-load bearing wall. So let's take a look at the top framing plate. Um, what they're requiring is a strap on anything with a 50% or greater notch in the wall framing plate. On a 2x4 that would represent 1 and 3 quarter inches. And uh, I would strongly suggest um, you know, notching this uh, maybe 45% if you are. don't. If you notch it 50%, there's a good chance you're going to have to strap it. Probably 50% or more on this. And again, these uh, building codes, you know, that the, they can be interpreted in a variety of different ways and discounted by um, engineers and local building authorities. So you can draw whatever you want on your building plans or your remodeling project. You can do what you want and say, hey, I watched this video. And uh, um, they, no, we don't care what you've done. And that's, I, that's, I cannot stress that point enough in my videos. You know, I, I tell people I'm not an engineer. You know, I'm not a, you know, I don't, you know, your bill, all the building codes are different. I mean, somebody recently asked me for building code information for the state of California. And how do I tell this person that uh, it really doesn't matter what I say or what the building codes, it matters what your local building authorities, um, you know, your city, municipal, county um, building authorities say they have the final word on all of this stuff, or I should say most of it. So here's another strap around the pipe. And uh, so a pipe with a diameter more than one and three quarter inches on a two by four. On a two by six, a, um, you're going to be able to probably put a two inch pipe in there. That's going to be um, pushing it. But a notch with a two inch pipe, um, anything with a pipe diameter less than two and a half inches on a two by six wall um, won't require a strap. According to these building codes, not uh, probably not your building inspector, I mean your engineer. I have had uh, seen it where they want a 48-inch strap on something like this. It gets a little nuts with uh, some of the stuff they have. But anyway, that's the information from the building code book. And I will put uh, in the video description area, I will put a um, information to what page number that building code is and what books, um, what book I got it from. So anyway, that's it for the video. And I am going to make another video on um, drilling through king studs. That seems to be a question that uh, is uh, another one of those questions that seems to keep popping up over and over again. And of course, I will put a link here once that video has been made.